What's up, Entropians? Lurry, Uncle Mo Nightshade here, coming at you with yet another edition of Mo's Mining Musings. Uh, we're up on Crystal Palace today. Uh, Crystal Palace, I'll give you a little space map action here, show you where this sucker's at. Um, Calypso's right here, and Crystal Palace uh, is, is basically right next to it, alright? This is the space station. And you can just, once you head up to the space station, you can just fly right on over, okay? Um, and it's sort of, uh, it's kind of a hunting dome, whereas uh, you've seen me mine on FOMA a lot. That would be uh, kind of a combination hunting and mining dome area in space. Uh, this is a four-dome space station, if you will, on an asteroid. One, two, three, four. And they contain uh, two mobs, these Earlies and Creeltons, whatever. Um, I'm going to kind of look at these signs here and see the damage they do. Uh, I've got to finish up some earlies. Uh, they both have missions for them. Uh, you can take missions for them, and uh, if you take out a hundred of them, uh, you, you get certain rewards. I, I got five more earlies, as you can see here. And then i got to start on these guys, or at least finish them up. So, um, tough mobs. They do hit hard. They have a lot of hit points, so they will hop a lot. Uh, I wonder if we can take a look at the Hofport now and see if we can find any of these things. Early week, yeah, there's one for number four. Um, that must have just hit recently. So, yeah, uh, you can see almost a 2,000 petter there. And uh, these will constantly be on the Hofport, uh, depending on how often people are hunting them. Me, personally, uh, yeah, as you all know, I haven't been playing very much lately. Uh, so... Um, apologies for that. Real life stuff's come up. Uh, I'm taking a class at work that's lasting 11 weeks and it's adding 20 hours to my work week. And um, the good news is after that I will get a job that where I work less hours and make more money, <laughs> essentially. So I'm going to have more entropia time and more, more time to make shows and do what I want. Um, and hopefully the net result of that is uh, I'll also be able to start a society and game. Uh, I, I don't expect it to be a terribly large society. Uh, it's certainly not going to be um, like a PvP society or anything focused on any particular area in game. Uh, but it will be focused uh, on kind of, uh, you know, for those people in personal life uh, that want to concentrate on their, their fitness levels and things like that. Uh, as you all know from previous videos, uh, I've started working out again. I really put on the pounds uh, back in the day and they're starting to come off really nice. Um, I've, I've got a long way to get ways to go. I, I've got like 150 pounds to lose. That's what I started with, and uh, I'm down about 30 though. So uh, hopefully by next April, May, I'll be back into those size 30, 30 inch jeans that I'm used to wearing and uh, um, looking good again. So used to be there, and I, I really just kind of let it go. But oh, I'll deal with that more in another video. But uh, just to get you guys in the loop a little bit, yeah, I've been working out. Um, and uh, doing well with that, and uh, hopefully going to get a society started for maybe people that just uh, wanted uh, an informal society in-game, or maybe people that are interested in joining uh, kind of uh, challenge groups or something that's uh, a bit fitness related. So kind of a different idea for MMOs. We'll see if it takes off. It may, it may not. Uh, otherwise, I hope it just makes a fun community. I'm working on the other limited time free time I have I've been working on a website and uh, that's gonna have a nice forum and it will have a some sort of ventrilo or voice chat server so I'm um, trying to work on all those things uh, is eating up all my entropia time haven't been making videos but I, I want to definitely re kind of recommit to that I, I mentioned that I was gonna do that last time and I really kind of blew it but uh, I do want to continue to make these things and uh, Hopefully, uh, the volume that I can put out on uh, videos will, will go up. But uh, you'll definitely see some more hunting videos uh, from me. Uh, I've been concentrating on that, as you know, for the first... Uh, I've, I've been in game for about six months now. Um, and I spent most of that time mining. So my mining skills are doing real well. Hunting skills were terrible, and uh, it's something I wanted to concentrate on. It's It's been... Kind of a pricey lesson, a uh, uh, bit costly to level up. Uh, obviously, in this game, you want to do things uh, as economically as possible, or eco, as everybody calls it in game. So, you want to use uh, the proper weapons and proper armor for whatever situation you're in. And 
and do things uh, for as little pet as possible. So, um, for these Arlies, uh, as you can see, they do impact, stab, acid, and cut damage. Uh, for that, I am using some serum armor with 5B plates. And the net result is I get uh, impact, cut, stab, and acid protection of 31, 24, 23, and 16, which is uh, pretty good. It's not bad. Um, for a weapon, uh, I was using ISIS LR-32s, uh, which put out some nice damage. And uh, I, as you can see, I've just barely, I've almost got them maxed out. Um, I, you never want to use a weapon until you're out of this skill increase bonus. There's, there's audio, other videos that cover that, but as you can see, I'm almost <laughs> right max damage there. Um, and uh, I've kind of run out of those. Um, I was kind of using them to get that last little bit of level there. So I'll be using this Herman Law 202 Desert, uh, which pumps out some gr great damage. It has an A104 amplifier in it. Um, the only bad thing is, is that uh, this is a laser weapon. And the rate of fire is awful slow. It's not a particularly good choice for these mobs. Um, and the reason is because these mobs' health bars have a... At least these earlys do. They have a high regen rate. So they will regenerate as you're shooting them. And when you're using a slower rate of fire weapon, uh, you can kind of see that regen rate kick in as you're attacking. Or particularly if you die, and you'll, that'll happen a lot. You'll die and have to come back, and then all of a sudden you've, you've got a mob down to almost low health, and now it's back to... Uh, a quarter or halfway, so you're wasting all those peds having to do all that damage again. So, uh, at any rate, I'm not hunting these professionally. I'm just doing them to get these missions, these iron challenges done. Uh, so this is not an ideal setup. I'm not recommending it or anything, but it's good enough to get me through a hundred of them. So, uh, that's that's the point here. I'm trying to get as many of these uh, hundred kill missions done as possible. What uh, you know, what you're getting is a nice stat reward of some sort, some uh, like a one point of stamina, one point of strength, something like that. Um, as of October 9th, Mindark will be uh, probably changing all the mission rewards. So this is quite exciting. Uh, it's a lot of people are worried. They think that maybe uh, some of the good mission rewards might go away. We'll just have to see on that. Um, and, uh, there's a, been a lot of mission rewards, particularly on Calypso, that were just, they, you got to a certain milestone and the, the rewards were terrible. They were like Nova Fragments or something worth zero ped, basically. So, uh, we'll just have to see what the net result is. Um, but in the meantime, I've been just enjoying hunting some different types of mobs and trying to figure out the damage types and what works well against them. Again, in this game, the basic premise is you don't want to use armor that's too good for a mob. You don't want to use armor that's not good enough because you'll die a lot. If you use armor that's too good, you're wasting money because that armor, really expensive armor, will deteriorate. So, uh, I got just a few more of these to finish up. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, finish these up for you. As you can see, they, they do hit real hard. Um, but I've got pretty much the right, the right setup, I think. For armor, you, when you see these damage, and my damage is the, the gold numbers here, you never you never want to see, like if this is all, ugh, see there's your crit right there. These things crit for 60, 80, and they always pile up on you. It's good if you can hunt these things in kind of a group, and uh, maybe not necessarily grouped up, but in a position where people can peel off the ads. And uh, if you can do that kind of in a public setting, it, it's... It's a lot better. What I'm going to do is kill this one and drown the rest over by the teleporter there. Because uh, I don't like hunting multiple mobs. It's it's too much, and if you get double critted, it can be a real pain in the ass. You die, you have to come back and fix it. No fun. So we'll just let the safety cannon here, this automated gun turret, will take care of them right away. Oops. Where's my herb box? There it is. Use an herb box to heal. Paramedic skills aren't great, and this is great for all beginners. Nice and eco. Um, good healing rate. Uh, so it's definitely something. I think you picked this up in ancient Greece over on the next island. But uh, there's so many of them on market. You just go find one, buy one. They're cheap. They're like 7 8 ped. 
So I'm going to just try and get next to somebody and try and peel off their ads. And usually people will realize, oh, hey, we got a professional here. <laughs> or at least somebody that wants to be helpful. I think I picked up a mob already. The aggro range on these things are quite high. So if you even get close to something, you're, you're going to pick it up. There's one. It gets real hairy in here real quick. And as you can see, from out of nowhere, all of a sudden I've got three mobs on me. And no, no, don't run away. Oh, well. Bad idea. Usually you can get a group of people down here, and uh, they'll help you out. Just as far as picking all these ads, you don't want this. Group of green dots over there. I'm gonna head for. Let's see how helpful they can be. Hey, anyway, right. Hope you all been doing well, often and globally. A lot of you have kept in touch. Appreciate that. Uh, I know it's been a long time again since my last show, and uh, again I apologize for it. But real life must prevail. You gotta afford those peds. I, I've certainly spent a lot of ped learning this hunting business. It is it has not been profitable so far. But uh it's been fun, I'm enjoying it. And the main reason is I just I haven't hit any hops. I don't think I've had a, uh, a mob hop yet. And you gotta hit those at some point. Uh I'm going to let myself die and come back. Well, maybe not. Yeah, the problem is when you get critted twice like that, uh, there's just nothing you can do. You die. If I was going to seriously hunt this place, I would probably... I definitely want a flapper, which is somebody that you pay to... that's a dedicated healer for you. And um, that's something I've been kind of picking up on. Uh, if you can really save a lot on armor decay and armor plate decay if you can just hire a dedicated healer. Uh, they, you can get one, a good one, for fairly cheap. Um, and that's a good way to save some ped while you're hunting. That way you can use a lower type of armor. Or you can use armor without plates, for instance, because you got the dedicated healer. Right now, if i got to heal myself, i got to switch over right now to the herb box and now I'm losing time where I should be killing the mob and with these earlies their health bars are refilling while I'm healing so that's not good it's uh... it's not as efficient as it could be so I'm gonna knock out three more of these guys I'll go ahead and do that real quick. I'll cash in the mission just so you can see what that looks like and we'll call it good. Um, plans for the future? Well, you got my real life plans. Uh, in game, I definitely want to get the uh, just a small society going. Um, and we'll see how that takes off. Um, I kind of want to include a World of Tanks area, maybe a Guild Wars 2 area. I've been trying to play those, but uh, my, my spare time, I. I, I just end up coming back to Entropia, for one, because I love it. It's a great game. And, uh, you know, anymore, I just I just realize I'm not a, I'm not a theme park MMO player anymore. I, I can't do it. Um, I still want a Dark Age of Camelot 2, for, for lack of a better way to put it. Uh, I love that place. But, uh, you know, back, back in the day, Dark Age of Camelot had more of a sandboxy feel. There wasn't a great deal of... There was questing, of course, but it wasn't the focus of the game. Guild Wars 2 has kind of changed that. They, questing is not... It's more like quest hubs rather than quest chains. So you can go to a certain area of the game and all of a sudden just hop and you'll see everybody fighting these mobs and you can just jump right in. So, it's kind of cool. 
anybody remembers Warhammer Online, they tried to do that. Um, and it was a good concept, but uh, they couldn't sustain enough of a population to make it work, so it was too bad. And yeah, we're going to kill this guy and bug out of here. I think on these 100 that I've killed, I've globaled three times. Um, so nothing impressive. A lot of animal eye oil and things like that. That's the problem with hunting is it's a lot of low markup items that you're getting. Uh, so you're really hunting for TT value. If you, if you had to do that for mining, of course, it would be mining would it would be extremely difficult. The idea behind mining is you want to try and mine the high markup areas. Ugh, crit, 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 crit. But uh, in hunting, that's it's 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 a lot tougher to do. Uh, a lot of times you just end up hunting, trying to get your TT value back. Uh, if you can do that, you're doing well. But, obviously, you know, you're looking for a nice hoff, you're looking for, there are some occasional drops where you get a nice weapon, maybe a high markup weapon. Uh, empty skill implants are nice to get, if you can get those, uh, they've, they'll drop, you know, with a value of 15 to 20 ped, and the, the markup's 650% at least. So you definitely want to get as many of those as possible. Hey! All right, quest update. We're just gonna get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, someone was nice and picked up an ad there. If I wanted to, I could stay and kill this watcher. But we've got our hundred, so let's go ahead and get a reward. I want to say it's a strength point or maybe a stamina point. I forget. So we're going to go ahead and head back to the actual just space station teleporter. I try to look at everybody's armor just to see what they're using. I think this is Cetus, and this ought to be Gremlin armor over here, which would both work well up here. Uh, let's see. I need to find someone with a question mark over there. I, I picked up this iron challenge months ago. Never bothered to finish it. You actually probably saw it when I picked it up on a, a team hunt we did a long time ago. And yeah, there's a familiar looking question mark. So yeah, awesome. That's just the beginning. Yeah. So yeah, we'll go ahead and accept the next. And when we do that, uh, we'll go ahead and get our credit. So, yeah, I got an intelligence points out of that. Why not? And we'll just go ahead and pick up the next mission. Uh, no limit on those. Anyway, that's what it looks like, folks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some some of the other ones. Kriltons, Cretans, some fucking thing. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to knock out a hundred of them and get off this rock. Um... Hopefully I'll get a nice global out of it. Uh, as you can see, these are more impact and acid. So I might I might switch up an armor on that. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. But uh, at any rate, uh, I hope all you're all doing well. And uh, thanks, as always, for listening to these things. Um, I, uh, I definitely uh, I need to get more time and start pumping these out. Uh, plans for the future for me. I'm going to be uh, getting back to... A bunch of stuff on Arcadia going right now. Pig's been doing a real good job on his videos, keeping up with all that. Um, there's new instances over there, which I need to cover. Uh, there's auctions uh, on Arcadia right now, which utilize, uh, utilizes the new instance currency, which is called R-Coins. Um, I'm, I'm currently a bidder in one of those uh, for some armor blueprints. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. Um, and that's uh, a whole other story. Uh, that I can get into, but um, hopefully MindArc will continue to allow Arcadia to, do, Arcadia to develop. Uh, David Dobson and his staff have been doing a real good job over there. So I'm going to be getting back over there doing some hunting and doing a lot of those, uh, their hunting kind of 
called Key Instances. So uh, if you haven't seen it, you can check out Pig's videos. I'll do a video on one, and uh, you can check it out. So in the meantime, thanks again for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, bye-bye.